We begin tonight with an unusual stranding of leatherback sea turtles in our area. Experts say the species is usually only found in the open ocean, not in shallow water. In just the last two weeks in Port Aransas, three have been found so far. Our Brandon Schaff joins us in studio to explain what all we know. Brandon. Hey, good evening, Leslie and Rudy and three leatherback sea turtles have been found around the Port Aransas ship channel. Well, experts say that they don't know why they're here, but they all had one thing in common. They all had injuries from a boat propeller. Three in two weeks, um, as far as we can tell in our database, um, that's the most we've ever seen in such a short period of time in our area. Andrew Orgill with Amos Rehabilitation Keep said all three of the leatherback sea turtles died before recovery or before they were found. Since they have a softer shell, an injury from a boat propeller can be life-threatening to them. And with those big propeller wounds, I mean, realistically, um, rehabilitating them um, is very difficult to impossible. Leatherbacks range between 500 and 1,500 pounds, are black in color, and have a long, leathery shell with ridges. Their giant size is hard to miss, since they are the largest sea turtles in the world. Texas State Aquarium President Jesse Gilbert said even with the space they have at their new wildlife rescue center, large leatherbacks would struggle to be rehabilitated since they don't do well in captivity. To find multiple in a very short amount of time is, is significantly rare. I've been in Corpus Christi for about 20 years, and I can count on one hand the number of times leatherbacks have really kind of come in with some uh, regularity. As part of the Sea Turtle Stranding Network, Gilbert said TSA is ready to help with the leatherback situation. He said this comes as reports of loggerhead sea turtle strandings are increasing, so they're preparing the facility for a large number of turtles. It's interesting that you're seeing an increase in both species at the same time, so something we definitely need to keep our eyes on and be prepared, and that's what this center does. It's ready to go when, when the need is there. Anyone who sees leatherback sea turtles, or any sea turtles for that matter, is encouraged to report them through 1-866-TURTLE-5. And experts say to report them all, injured or not, so that they can be documented and cared for accordingly. Leslie, Rudy, back to you. All right, Brandon, thank you for that report.